bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together All right, we are gonna go in and ask them about my uh, rock that I found or my glass. I, we don't know if this is glass or a rock or what it is. It's not, I don't think it's a rock. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. It looks like that uh -huh. stuff over there. Yeah, that's what we were kind of thinking. Scott saw mm -hmm. that and said, well, we Where'd might want to stop. This? Um, I was cleaning garbage up and that's what I found. So when you, if you pick garbage up, you might find treasures, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, a lot of different uh, types of rock. We've got sulfur right here, petrified wood. Yeah, did you see the pet or did yeah. you see the Flintstone uh, wagon? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. You ever seen that before? Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's see, it's not, it's not, um, fire kind of cold. No. You can get a double espresso, a latte, cappuccino, and you can get some soft serve ice cream in here. Uh, you're beautiful. I have this one, I thought, too. I have another what, piece. Where was it at? We were at Marshall Lake in Arizona in the oh. National Forest where there's a volcano that erupted that's years what I'm ago. Thinking. It looks like a volcanic. Yeah. Obsidian okay. is what that's called, obsidian, but that okay. is absolutely beautiful. But there's two shades of green in there. Because I see there's a big yeah. rock way out there that's kind of green. Oh, that's glass. That's glass. Okay. That's glass. So that's what we just couldn't oh. understand if maybe that was glass. No. Well, obsidian is volcanic glass. Okay. And that's what that looks like. But I have never seen anything with those different shades like that. That is beautiful. Okay. Yay! I'll put it back in my pocket then. Okay. But look at it. Be careful. You hang on to it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, Can I ask yeah, what it your is name? Very, very Can I ask sharp. what your name is? Nola. Nola? Mm -hmm. And are you the owner of this? No. No? no. Okay. Okay. And what's the name of uh, the little building here? The store? The Rock Stop. The Rock Stop. Okay, that's where we're at. So, can you explain this to us? And this is volcano glass. It's uh, called obsidian. The Native Americans used it because we didn't have flint in this area. So they used it to cut their uh, arrowheads, knife heads, axe heads, anything like that. Wow, that's beautiful. Can I ask you what your name is? Andra. Andra, hey Andra. Wow, that's really beautiful. And very sharp. Yeah, and extremely very sharp. sharp. Well, it's as sharp as a scalpel. Wow. But it's also glass. Yeah. So you have to be careful how you used it because it would break. It would break. Okay. Yeah. Do you have any other pieces that are unique? You can Oh, that you got. That's our local stone. Can you explain it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is our local stone. It's found a mile and a half from here, just right up over that hill. Um, each one of them contains some kind of a marine fossil. Um, so that kind of shows that we were at one time underwater. Oh, that's really pretty. And this one has a barite crystal in it, which is kind of rare. This one's got four seashells in it. One, two, three, four. Five. And this one right here has a horseshoe crab. You can see its little toe right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Now it's just look when you find one. You might cut right through it. You might cut around it. The guy that did this, Bob Crusoe, is our, the guy who cuts it for us. Um, happened to see that and knocked it out. So then he took it completely out and then polished around it and put it back in there. Okay. So, <clears throat> and then also too, this one's a real rare one. The darkness of it in there. Okay. Wow, that's really beautiful. And right behind you, there's tons of it. Yeah. Right behind you on the floor, right behind you. Oh. That's a giant animal. Let's see that. 
And was this town local? Yes, it's just found right over the hill. Oh, oh my gosh. Here. Oh, and Wow. And this is one that the owner picked up, his wife picked up. He said, throw that back. It's not worth anything. It's all busted up. It's not any good. And again, there's a horseshoe crab in it. So, yeah, we're Yeah, you don't really know before. what you pick up. You really got to look at it. You don't. Like, right. It's like a box of chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> you have to eat a little bit of each one. <laughs> so, now, another thing about these is... They're found in the quantities that we have it here in only two places in the world. One is right here in the Little Orville, and the other one is in Madagascar. Okay. And okay. Madagascar's are just a little bit different than ours. Not as pretty. Not as pretty. Um, yeah, we must have sold them. We had some samples here. Okay. So we could show, but they look like they're well, ladies, I appreciate you talking to our people on the other end of the camera. We very much appreciate all the information. It's fun to learn about the area and their yes. treasures. So. Well, and this one also obviously is local. Right. Because okay. it's, I mean, that's what all of our hills and everything is. It's so beautiful. And this is natural. This comes out of the ground looking like that. Oh, really? Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. 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 And, uh, Terry is getting a waffle cone. <laughs> These ladies have been a wealth of information. Absolutely. And they told us next year when we come back, if it's next year, which I think it probably will be. Um, we're going to come here and the owner will draw us out maps and possibly take us, give us a map or take us up to where we can find some of these rocks ourselves. Oh, oh my goodness sake. That's that. worth the stop. No, no charge. Oh, Are you sure? Thank you. Wow. wow. We're on TV. Yes, you are. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you very much. And I wouldn't share you. <laughs> Very cool. yeah. uh, let's see, that looks yummy. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to share with the kids. <laughs> so if you're coming through this area, um, we're about, I want to say about 10 minutes down the road from the belly of the dragon. This is a cute store, especially if you're a rock hound. It, um, they just have everything here. And the gals that are in here are just absolutely sweet. Lots of stuff to look at. They've got ice cream, obviously. And it's, they do. Adorable. <laughs> Aubrey says they have an adorable picnic area out here. Oh, they do. Very cute. Mommy. Honeysuckles. Honeysuckles. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Love those. Well, my ice cream is not uh, gonna last out here in this hot weather. It will with me. You might need to have another bite. <laughs> <laughs> Now that I see this, it makes me wonder about that glass that I saw and I threw away because I actually saw some of that beautiful color in that. I think I might have thrown away things that I thought were just uh, broken glass. So out here they've got the same uh, stuff but bigger, bigger piles. Petrified wood. No For five dollars, you can break your own geo. Magnetite. Let's see. Gold sheen. Obsidian. Right there. That's what she said. That's what she said that uh, my rock might be, or my glass. I still have a dollar in this picture. Ooh, look! Hmm. Dinosaur. 
They even have a dinosaur here. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty cool how they did that. Oh, I love the color of the rock. Whoa! That is pretty. Oh, yeah. That's, that's Aja's favorite color right there. Mommy's too. Yeah, pretty. All right, well, we just had a little bit of a change in plan. We are heading back to um, Hawks Canyon where we were camping. We are about 30 minutes from there. We just got a text from Wren and she is stuck in the sand. And not really sure what the circumstance is, but she is really stuck. So we're heading back. Dean and Steve are going to go ahead. Sorry, guys. So this is what happened, but the back part, the trailer, is really stuck back there. Now the next situation is getting the trailer picked up, but Scott's got a pretty good idea of what to do about that. Oh yeah, these straps do that, and I'm just trying to leave this. No, but it just tightened up on that thing, like around that ball thing, like it just. Oh, oh, that's right. They have those things. Yeah. Okay, I'm back out of your way. Okay. Yeah. That's what happens when you jerry rig it. Well, it worked. Yeah, and now it's. There you These go. These two are one. That, that's right. But you can always just screw it back in. Screwing's a good thing. Um, so, 
that's kind of stuck in there now. Okay. Not anymore. A little smushed. <laughs> so, I'll go slow forward, and if just somebody just, you know, I got you. Okay. Well, it does whatever if it starts to go ancient on us. Did you pull the other side? No, I did not. It's lifting a little. Yeah. yeah, you're lifting. Stop. It's gonna kind of bring it over. Yeah, because this is more of a hill, so if he gets up there, it's it's lifting a little bit. I just can't see what's exactly behind me. You're good. You're good. Just keep going. You're good. Yeah, it's lifting a lot more. Just keep going, baby. Keep going. Just get up on that hill. You're lifting. You're about two inches off the ground. Just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop. Okay. I can dig it out. All right. We got enough. We can dig it out. You're the man. We're the team. That's called teamwork there. High five. Rin can dig it out. We all help dig. Do we have a shovel? It's way up there or whatever. Okay. All right. Rin's digging it out. Gonna jack it up. We're gonna get back here and put a little tongue weight on the back here. But she's got this uh, hog in here, and so <laughs> this is seven. 700 pounds and we don't all quite um, no we don't that. meet that expectation but it does help a little bit yeah right for all the way yeah you know and my dad did teach Yay. me about uh, things like that you're supposed to go all the way and then go back like half a turn yeah. so people realize right on I would go forward I, I mean I would go forward and you just need to go over just a tiny bit that way Okay. Make it straight. Looks good, looks good, looks good. It's good, slow, oh. Just crank your wheel that way, a little more, there you go. Back, real slow, slow, slow. 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 Back. I don't know if we can. More? Well, it's hard to say, because now I can't. I'm sure if that's going up or... There you go, now you're going down. Yeah, there you go, Ren, you're safe. I am tired. I know you are, I'll get you some ice water. Nope. Woo! I'm not getting ice water. <laughs> I asked Ren if she wanted some ice water and she said no. She didn't want no ice water. She can go jump in the river. There you go. Feel better? Yeah. All right, we just pulled up here to the top of the road, waiting for uh, Rin and Bex to get up here just to make sure that everything's good and then we'll be back on our way.